The main reason why the Air Force staff of Walter Company has officially withdrawn from the extended competition on the grounds of high requirements for improving the mission and low possibility of cost is that they have undertaken the improvement mission of the Navy's A-7 pirate attack aircraft. There is no time and technical strength to study the competitors. Only Boeing and Grumman. At this time, the joint of the United States government is loosening the president of China Aerospace. Technology Import and Export Corporation has learned during the visit to the United States that the United States defense the Chinese who approved the export of the F-404 and the avionics equipment needed for the extended period to Pakistan, believed that the time was ripe and the warm response of the air show was the best way to start the formal work immediately. They immediately wrote to the staff of the Pakistani Air Force to request the detailed information of the F-404 engine and related equipment so as to start the design work as soon as possible. Since Lieutenant General Jamal had been promoted to the rank of General of the Air Force staff, there was not much time to take charge of it therefore. In February 1986, the Air Force appointed former air combat hero Colonel Salem as the overdue management project most of the original research team was disbanded and transferred to the project office. The second plan officially became a housing plan for the Ministry of Defense of Pakistan to enter the project management. Salim S. work style was vigorous and resolute. He knew that the most important work now was to complete the feasibility study and the final plan assignment of the United States. He wanted to ask the project office to integrate the suggestions and research results accumulated in the previous two years into a formal written project design management requirement within one week. Which is very exciting he spent a week to let us delete the immature, inaccurate and ambiguous places before and modify them word by word after all the work is on the right track. Salim noted the requirements of Grumman and the Chinese side respectively in order to reach a tacit understanding with Beijing on the operation of the plan. Salim took the lid in visiting China and went to Beijing on March 9. This is the first time that Pakistan has formally expounded the organizational principles of the P. Eder project to the Chinese high level in a comprehensive and clear manner. This meeting with Salim came straight to the point that the P. Eder plan must follow the root of you. S. Military assistance and use the money allocated by the military to Pakistan to carry out the project. Therefore, the plan must be based on the United States. The human face is still quite difficult. But we are willing to adopt the commercial management mode for the development of the prototype. The Ministry of Defense of Pakistan will fund the wind tunnel test airframe structure design of the prototype. The Chinese side will complete the overall design of the Grumman Company and provide the design data. In short, the Chinese side will be responsible for the production of the airframe when the test and test flight are conducted in the Grumman Company of the United States or Pakistan. The Chinese side responsible for the final assembly of the production knows at Pakistan Aircraft Corporation's TAJID airport did not immediately respond to the comments, but only said that the specific content and costs need to be divided into details before a detailed budget can be prepared. However, they hope to sign a cooperation agreement with the three parties of the United States and Pakistan and carry out detailed task allocation. It is necessary to clarify their respective responsibilities and responsibilities, workload and cost payment to go back to the domestic senior management. 
Salim flew to Chengdu on the 11th and handed over the details to the Chengdu Aircraft Company, which was specifically responsible for manufacturing and designed the design requirements submitted. This time, were more detailed and clearly established. The main tone of super in the mission requirements. It was no longer mentioned that the aircraft needed to be improved on the basis of the J-7M, but directly put forward the performance requirements at the beginning of the project. It was clear that the F-404 engine approved in the United States must be used in the performance requirements of avionics. Because of the mobility, it is clearly pointed out that the aircraft should focus on low and medium altitude maneuvers and its high altitude performance should be secondary. But it still hopes that the maximum speed can reach more than 1.6 Mach. The most stringent requirement is that the airframe life must reach more than 3000 hours. And it is better to match the life of F for O for engine. The first overhaul time must be more than 1,200 hours. The airframe structure must be able to withstand 9G of dynamic overload and three internal loads. The fuel must be more than 2,268 kilograms. Four. The aircraft must have the air refueling capability or reserve the air refueling interface and system. Ooh. The aircraft's external storage points must be increased to 7 to 9 at least 7 storage. Points can simultaneously carry weapons, auxiliary fuel tanks, and other equipment. The external storage capacity is not less than 2,700 kg 6. The aircraft must provide the American-style unsupported windshield and the American-style cabin environment. Qi. The aircraft must have the landing arresting hook. These requirements are widely understood by the staff. Extensive solicitation of pilots and engineers. Experience requires that after three years of discussion, the number of pilots and engineers is constantly increased and deleted in the subsequent series of meetings, which are also eagerly hoped by Pakistan. Salim conveyed the situation of Boeing and Grumman's visit to Pakistan after October 1985. At the same time, it also explained the situation of words withdrawal from the competition. The Chinese side let us visit the all-metal, full-size aircraft model made by them in China traditionally. This step is a precursor to production. But we do not realize that a series of demanding requirements actually completely overturn the state of the model in front of us. Instead, we are optimistic about this step. Our imagination is that the Chinese people tell us that it will take three years to design the aircraft and at least five prototypes to be manufactured for test and flight test projects. It will take more than five years to complete the research and development, at least less money it is. Estimated that the purchase unit price of each aircraft will be between 8 million and 10 million based on 150 aircraft which is much more than our expected range. The unit price of the Pakistani Air Force is below 8 million, which is acceptable. The purchase can be completed in 5 to 6 years. All costs can be drawn from the share of the United States military assistance in the Air Force. Ha ha ha, it is estimated that the total cost of getting to the fuselage of the J7M will not exceed us 250 million, which reassures us that the original choice of Grumman is to rely on their advanced technology and strength in fighter aircraft. Obviously, there is still a big gap in this respect despite the slow progress and hesitation of Boeing. The Chinese people seem to prefer to deal with them. Boeing did not withdraw from the bidding. They said the business management plan provided by Boeing is more clear 
and detailed than that of Grumman. However, Boeing gives us the impression that the work has only stayed on paper for six months without any actual progress. They lack the necessary experience. They are engaged in the production and modification of large bombers and attack aircraft. The main reason is that their relationship with our senior management is not as close as that of Grumman. They don't have much profit to earn in this project. There is a great risk of quitting at any time. In addition to many choices they provide, obviously increase the cost and development time. The Chinese side asked us again for the detailed information of the F-404 and avionics system. They said that it was provided by the equipment ordering party approved by the US Department of Defense. But in fact, Pakistan did not ask the manufacturer of these equipment for design funds, but these things were interested to Grumman. They didn't give them to Pakistan instead. They suggested that Pakistan ask China for a complete set of data for the J-7M or provide a prototype for Grumman to complete the overall design. This proposal is closer to our original idea, so we agreed to talk about this with the Chinese. Grumman issued a detailed list of required data covering all aspects of the aircraft. Grumman believed that these materials are outdated aircraft. Which is of little significance to Grumman China should provide them, but Salim felt that this way was difficult, and that China might be wary of it. So he asked Deputy Chief of Staff Farouk to go to Chengdu together, hoping to complete the task of requesting materials from top to bottom by virtue of the ministerial talks. Obviously. The meeting was bogged down on the issue of materials. All parties insisted that the materials were paid and could not be delivered. We, especially the United States, have repeatedly evaded the information needed by China. The Chinese people said that they didn't want to participate in the plan, but they didn't get anything in the end in order to set obstacles. They offered a price of 1.2 million dollars for the drawings, which caught us unprepared. Obviously, we didn't plan to pay for anything before the final risk assessment, work allocation, and development budget came out. The judgment was very difficult. The Chinese felt cheated, so the attitude was very strict. The meeting lasted for two days. There was no result. We flew to. Beijing to seek help from a higher level. The Chinese high level didn't insist on paying, but we asked for equal exchange of information. That is, the Chinese should pay a part of the information. The United States should deliver the same amount of design information to the Chinese side. All overdue designs should be completely transparent in Pakistan and the United States. The issue of Unilateral transparency of the Chinese side aside, or its inability to do it alone, must be resolved until the three-party meeting between Pakistan and the United States. China insists on obtaining the formal commitment of the United States. Therefore, the Chinese side requires that at the next meeting, it must be clear who should pay for the work of the Chinese side. How to pay and how much to pay after five days of negotiations? Almost all the goals have not been achieved. Finally, only a memorandum of understanding was reached. The main content is feasible. The sex research is jointly completed by the three parties, and the Pakistani side must pay part of the cost of the preliminary work for the Chinese side. The aircraft airframe after mass production in the future. Must be ordered and directly paid by the Pakistani side from China in June 1986. The United States and China officially announced the start of the peace model plan. Grumman, as the main contractor, is responsible for improving 50 to J-8B fighter planes, which means that the U.S. Department of Defense has approved the export authority of that batch. 
of sensitive equipment to China to seven in fact. Boeing has been excluded from the plan in the conversation with China and the United States. General Jamal of the Air Force clearly confirmed that Grumman was the partner of the United States. But this is not a formal announcement that the Chinese people have stepped up their cooperation with Boeing under the condition of dissatisfaction with Crum and attitude towards data inequality. They even have the tendency to work alone long ago. The Chinese people said to us that they have a thrust of 7,000 kilometers. JINS turbojet engine is an improved model developed from the turbojet 13F, which can be easily installed on the J7M body without even special modification. In addition, they asked the company for the RP99 engine phase information and thought it could be used as a backup when necessary to avoid the introduction of the plan failure, radar and avionics. The UK is a partner of the J7 and they designed an updated SSR Super Air Prowler radar that can completely replace it. The reason why American radars can accommodate Pakistan is that they want us to finance the most risky path and also want to obtain the most advanced weapons and equipment from the United States in short. There is still a gap in the performance of European equipment. The impatient attitude of the Chinese people makes them eager to see the progress of things. We are looking forward to the United States because we leave the channel of Grumman's military assistance which is likely to disappear it's meaningless to plan to go on Mr. Li Jiuoming, the president of AVIC in charge of the P. Eder to project, came to Islamabad on July 21st to meet with them, Mr. Li Jiuoming brought the results of the research of China and Boeing to ask whether we can enter the improvement plan of Boeing in Greece. Mr. Farouk immediately rejected this request and declared that cooperation with Grumman was an early plan and submitted an application to the government. And the cost has been approved if Boeing enters. It must reapply. This is unacceptable unless Boeing can put forward a particularly excellent plan and only let them undertake the feasibility study with the permission of the Secretary of State Pakistan is ready to announce who is the final contractor before and after August 14th. Now, it is not appropriate to put forward cooperation with Boeing. Moreover, Boeing's plan basically does not mention anything new. It is still the old foggy place. And the progress is still far behind. The Chinese people continued to visit the Secretary General of State and the Deputy Chief of General Staff after. Listening to Farooq's opinion after receiving the unanimous commitment of the Pakistani government, they left with satisfaction. In fact, they just wanted to urge us to implement the work as soon as possible and did not care much about whether Boeing could participate in the announcement of the bidding results on August 14th, AVIC and Grumman respectively on August 17th. We were ordered to go to Beijing to sign the bilateral agreement on China-Pakistan cooperation, which clarified the cooperative relationship between China and Pakistan on August 19. Grumman also arrived in Beijing under the leadership of the president to launch the first formal trilateral talks. The main purpose of this meeting was to coordinate the trilateral working relationship which should not only make Grumman clear the leadership position in design, but also meet the leading position of the Chinese people in the improvement of the body. But the intensity of the meeting was me what we didn't expect. Was that Grumman brought there to design drafts? But they were strongly criticized by the Chinese side. The first one was that Grumman proposed to combine the front fuselage of the F-20 with the in lead of the J-7M on both sides to fit the position of the original in lead of the MiG-21 at the back of the cockpit, the Chinese side took the full size 
metal model of the J7CP as the data to clearly point out that there was no connection between the F20 and the J7 and the work of improving the airhead might have been done badly there is no need to expend needless energy on this the americans certainly do not agree with this statement this has led to a heated debate between the two sides for dozens of hours finally they reluctantly agree with china's design plan for the front fuselage but put forward that another plan needs to be further modified there are aerodynamic changes in the wing tip a rattlesnake missile launcher is added to the wing tip a piece extends forward and extends to the improved air inlet to form a small strip with a rear mine angle of 70 the chinese believe that the j7m wing root tip ratio is very large and the relatively thin high speed airfoil is used to add pylons at the tip of such a small overhang i'm afraid the strength of the outer section of the wing cannot support these opinions these opinions are finally recorded and confirmed by both sides at the same time china also provided their design which is still based on the j7cp naturally it has also been criticized by the united states grumman s designers believe that such improvement is too small to reach the back is the design requirements of tanzania especially the aerodynamic layout cannot change much without changing the wing design even if the engine becomes stronger and the flight performance is not changed after intense discussion the tripartite agreement needs to make certain modifications to the aerodynamic layout china needs to send designers and engineers to the Colombian headquarters in Long Island, New York, and the two sides will jointly develop the design of the new layout. The biggest basis of the tripartite agreement is the recognition that Pakistan will research the manufacturing cost is limited to 250 million US dollars. The Chinese also accepted the proposal of the United States to manufacture three prototypes to complete all the remaining details of the experiment plan. The remaining details will be submitted to the next tripartite meeting for resolution. This meeting basically determined that the overdue plan will take 6 years. The first prototype will start the test flight in 1991. The three prototypes will be designed in two parts: body design. Chengdu Aircraft Co. Ltd undertakes about 85%.